Welcome to Like Now But Worse, a show where we specialize almost entirely in teaching you things that you'll probably try to forget later on in the day for your own mental health. Now this episode today is going to be just such a tidbit, I can almost guarantee it. Before we begin, I'd like to start with an experiment. Richard Gere. Now, did you just have a vivid image of a bold exploratory gerbil spelunking into the rectal cavity of the co-star of The Fugitive? If so, you're like about everybody else in the world. Sorry, Richard, that's just how it goes. You can't get caught doing that sort of thing and expect to live it down. Let's pop up a couple hashtags here. Gerbil exploration, hashtag gerbil spelunking, and Hashtag first descent? Who knows? All right, whether Richard Gere truly did insert an anal pleasure gerbil on a lonely Friday night, or that was just a made up hoax by the paparazzi, his deeds pale in comparison to those of Mary Toft, a 16th century English woman who worked as a servant, lived with her cloth maker husband, and gave birth, allegedly, to no less than 18 damn rabbits. Yeah, that's an actual thing that happened. We're gonna talk about it. Mary Toff's medical hoax began when she popped out a couple rabbits with the help of a neighbor and a fellow servant and her husband. Her loving and caring husband, of course, took prompt advantage of his new bunny mama and her furry offspring by telling everybody about it. Because something cool happening at your house, your wife's popping out rabbits, you gotta let everybody know, otherwise you're gonna miss your chance at local notoriety. And he was not about to do that. Mr. Toff was a pragmatic man. Now, this was a calculated risk from the loving and surely supportive Mr. Toft, who all the way up until Mary was literally declared insane, stood right by her and said uh, that she was really giving birth to these rabbits. I don't know if he knew that she occasionally got into it with some rabbits in the garden or why he was so supportive and ready to believe this theory, but you know, he sure was. You gotta give him one for that. This was a calculated risk, however, because this was a time period in England where a woman could be burned at the stake as a witch for merely petting a black cat in front of the local priest who had just found out that he had gotten the pox and decided that it would be easiest to just blame it on the first peasant woman in his line of sight. Mary Toft was not burned as a witch. Surprisingly, 16th century England went with a scientific approach to this one. <laughs> a local doctor came to take a look at Mary and uh, observed and actually performed a couple of these rabbit births. Upon doing so, he thought that he had stumbled into an amazing scientific, I guess, advancement? I don't know. Le you tell me what it was. We thought he found a thing. And so he promptly moved her to a city which was closer to where he lived and worked. And eventually he managed to spread the word so thoroughly that the personal physician of the royal family came to Mary and studied her and even helped deliver a couple of the rabbits himself. Now these are the most medicinal, scientific, practiced medicine minds of the age in England. Literally, the personal physician to the damn queen was pulling rabbits out of this woman and she kept doing it, you know? She, she was able to pull off 18 of these births before she was finally caught. It happened about as you would expect. Before eventually being pronounced insane and being thoroughly chastised as only a 16th century English woman could be, Mary managed to pop out about 17, 18 rabbits. That number is disputed, but it's always 17 or 18. Now, again, she was in the presence of the best medicinal-minded men in the English 16th century. They know noted that she was known to walk with her knees pinched together in a slightly pained and awkward manner. Well, yeah. It's not gonna feel great. And <laughs> you gotta give it to Mary. The lady had some haunches. She had some real, real just, wow, good for you, I think. Uh, Richard Gere, take note. You know, if Mary wrote anything, if she had a diary, she might be able to give you some some tips on those uh, inner mammalian captivity type situations. Anyway, yeah, she was eventually pronounced insane, of course, because clearly she was. If you're gonna shove rabbits into your vagina more than once, you know, you'd think, you'd think once once would be pretty good. I, the, the people like tend to think of rabbits as these furry, uh, soft, cute creatures, but they dig into the earth at an alarmingly fast rate, meaning they have really big claws and they know how to use them. And if they're trapped in a dark place, you'd think they'd try some digging. Considering that was one of the favored methods of torture and murder in England was they would take this barrel and they'd put it on your chest with a rat in it. And then they would heat it up with a flame so that the rat just went berserk 
berserk and burrowed literally into your chest so so it could escape the heat. You're shoving a rabbit up there and I just can't see it going uh, too much differently than that. I don't know if she was like a rabbit whisperer or, or was there something in it for the rabbits? I don't know. But either way, no rabbits burrowed through her flesh and murdered her while she was shoving them up there. So props, you done did it. You kept this medical hoax up all the way until eventually one of the porters smuggling rabbits in for Mary to insert was caught and taken in for questioning where he promptly admitted that he was part of this hoax. That would have been rabbit 19 or 18 depending on uh, where you read about this. Mary was finally released from captivity for study and pronounced insane and sent home to live out her days hopefully not putting rabbits into her orifices anymore. So we don't know what she did after this um, because she peaked is what she did. She did the rabbit thing. That was her deal. She was probably the best to ever do it. So there you go, Mary. Number one, yeah, I'd say Guinness Book of World Records. If you don't already have, you know, a record for the most rabbits birthed, the uh, Mary Toft probably overlooked her. So you might want to go back and give that a check. Uh, question so, time. We, question we don't time. have viewers. So Jeremy, uh, yeah. you. Give me a question. Okay, so this was done with, with rabbits. Has this kind of medical hoax been attempted with any other animals? Uh, that you know of. Not on this scale. Okay. Uh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> there, there was definitely like some accusations, uh, lots of accusations, especially in like the witch hunting phase of England. You know, they got, sure. they got really into that. Uh, lots of like, uh, she consorted with beasts. Uh, birth to goat babies was a pretty common thing. Like, you know, uh, people would claim that a goat was born from a woman's womb. Uh, stuff like that. So were there any witnesses to these alleged goat birds? Uh, yeah, you know, not trustworthy ones. <laughs> You know, cool. they, they were the sort of witnesses who were like, uh, I don't like this hoe, so burn her ass at the stake. Uh, totally witnessed yes. her birthing a goat. And, you know... That, that is a direct quote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was, that's scientific so. and historical. Um, it's right out the yep. book. Yeah, don't like you smoke, yo ass. <laughs> The, the lightning round. Okay. We're gonna do some lightning, not cocaine. Do they call lightning yeah. cocaine? I don't think they do. Light. Who calls it that? White lightning. Oh yeah, the yeah. Light, white lightning, yeah. Yeah, you roll up a penny and just boom, go to town <laughs> in the handicapped stall of Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> that was just oddly specific. <laughs> Uh, Just ripping fat rails of white lightning. <laughs> That's really the only way you're going to enjoy Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, let's move on uh, before they sue yeah. us. So this is uh, this yeah. is going to be uh, light now, but worse, lightning round, episode two. Uh, on which our motherfucking topic be birth and rabbits, baby. Now we're going to, yeah, we're going to talk about Mary. We're going to talk about Mary and the fluffle of rabbits. The which just burst forth from, from her damn womb. Uh, it just came right out of the uh, <laughs> So the way the lightning round works, if if you're a new viewer. We're going to assume you're a new viewer. If you're a viewer, That's, you're new. and You're pretty new. <laughs> if, if you exist, you're a new viewer. Otherwise, yeah. I'm talking to myself, which is not that out of the ordinary. Um, gonna pop on a two minute timer here and we're just gonna lightning banter about, about this weird ass topic. So, Jeremy, yeah. Yeah. how you feel about Mary's fluffle? Okay, so, like somebody had to have that idea to <laughs> just stick it right up in there right? for a short time. Right. I don't, So that's Super f like uh, not yeah. only are you shoving living organisms all up into your guts, you know. So, I mean, like, did they die? No, no, oh. they were alive. They came out alive, rabbits, and and they were in there. You know, she didn't just pop them in there like five minutes before uh, the doctor came. You know, or you know, maybe she did a couple times, but she was like said to be walking around in a pained manner. <laughs> with her knees clenched together and shit. Uh, uh, that makes sense. It does. It does because, yeah, rabbits <laughs> have claws and teeth and, and they dig a lot, you know? I imagine they wouldn't be happy about being up in there. I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, you know, I mean, maybe, you know, yeah. with like, with like my shit, sure. But my whole body, yeah. no. But I just spelunking, it can't be fun. You know, moist, warm, Ugh. you know, you're moving around. You know, she's moving around with you, 
jostling around in there. And, and there yeah. just can't be a lot of air, you know, in general. Not a lot. It's, it's gonna, there's some trauma for the, for the little baby rabbits. You know, I want to know if these rabbits got any kind of justice. You know? I mean, she died eventually. <laughs> Probably after them. So there's... Ideal, you know, rabbits. And, well, yeah. Maybe <laughs> the family's carried out some kind of uh, long-term vengeance plan. I hope so. I hope so. Because this, this lady, she, I like she done they did. with the psyche of a whole fluffle. A little young, yeah, that's, little young rabbits. That's lasting damage that she's she's doing to essentially helpless little critters. Yeah. So there's uh, there's our timer. Hey, thanks for watching Like Now But Worse from Bandit Pimp. If you like that video, please like and subscribe all our sh at these links. They're gonna scroll down the screen like this, uh, and Jeremy's gonna he's gonna put them in there. They're they're gonna do a little scroll like this, and then maybe they can stop like here. So like we'll have Instagram and Facebook, and then we'll have BanditPimp.com and like uh, you know our, our YouTube channel, and, and they'll be that's where they'll be, and that's where you should be. You should be liking and, and subscribing and clicking. And just just go into town on that shit, dog. All right, keep uh, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep watching, so we can keep making videos. Thank you for being a viewer. We'll see you next time.